Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. When we're trying to do that, we're trying to do it in a lot of ways. When a person goes through job loss, when a person goes through the loss of a business, they openly change their life. I can remember when I was working during time that my father was transitioning towards heaven in retail. And I needed to do that for a lot of reasons. That my business had closed, that my mom was needing to be transported in a different way because her eyesight was sort of failing, and that openly I needed to participate in that to see my father every day. When we talk about real life, we talk about how the people of our life change our lives, shift our lives, and sometimes complain about our lives. But a person's complaint about a life that is outside looking in is not the same as the person who's living that life looking inside out. A person might have high hopes and big dreams, but that doesn't mean that in American culture we can't achieve those things. People often say that someone's a dreamer. Well, here's the deal. According to our American president, the world is full of dreamers, and they're welcome here. So when we're talking about life in the real world, we're talking about what do you want for your life? And if your life is mar marvelously content in the position you're in, super, I'm glad for you. If you're making all the earnings that your mind can handle, I'm glad for you. If you put away money for retirement, excellent for you. Because those are the essential parts of life, that we must earn a living, we must find a spouse or a wife, and we need to do that for our own mental health care. You see, people who don't partner well are often unwell in their hearts, minds, and souls. They often make malicious gossip control their life. They often create drama everywhere they go. They often walk in late and leave early because of their attitude is that I'm above this. I don't need this. That may be true. And sometimes we do go to marvelous networking events that are an absolute waste of time, except for the fact that we're making relationships with the people who run them and own them. And that sometimes needs to be done. But what I learn about people the most is how much tolerance that they have for the own reality of life that in a time of COVID, in a time of epidemic and pandemic, anyone can possibly lose their life. And what I mean by that is that people can lose jobs immediately when companies do the right thing to fire them. Good people can also lose their jobs when the wrong people interfere with their lives and complain about them because they make them feel insufficient, unproductive, and underperforming, which might actually be factually true. What we know about the world today is that there's all kinds of people out there. There's all kinds of opportunities out there. But finding those opportunities requires someone to be online with a portfolio or with a resume or with something that HR directors and recruiters can see today. And those people that interfere with lives, that don't want people to be successful, will often steal, lie, and cheat people out of their actual rights. My own biological family is full of people who like to play games. And their idea is, oh, I'm not important to you, so I'm going to take this away from you. Well, I'm sorry, motherfucker, but you're not in my life. You are not my lawful spouse. You are not even a first-party relation to me under the law. So you really don't have the right to comment about my life from the sidelines when I barely talk to you at all. And other people who are strangers also don't have the right to presume that they are in danger just because they might see me upset with the hundredth person who's trying to come up and give me something that I'm allergic to in food. We have monstrous groups that like to believe that they are policing the community for things they don't like. But here's what I absolutely know about those people is most likely they received either a piece of false or truthful information that at no time under the constructs of our social network would they have any ever right to know.